If you want to see how I make delicious pulled pork on my Weber kettle, stay tuned to this video till the end. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you have questions, just ask them in the comment section below. Everything that I'll be using will be in the description box below. Check those links out to see if you like those products. I'm using the charcoal snake method today. And as you can see here, I am stacking charcoal briquettes too high around the entire rim of the fire chamber. This is B&B briquettes, some of the best briquettes out there for the charcoal snake. Burns evenly, very hot, and very long. On this snake method, I have three quarters of the way around filled with charcoal, and that usually lasts me about 14 hours. I will go ahead and light six briquettes and stack them at one end of the snake, and it will burn evenly all through the night. I will go to bed, leave this, and wake up in the morning, wrap my pork butt, and then finish the cook. Stay tuned, and check it out. Important step here is that after I clean my grates, I'm going to add a drip pan underneath the grates, put the pork directly over that drip pan so it catches the drippings from the pork. And so when I wrap my pork butt and finish cooking it in the aluminum foil in that pan, I still have those juices to do my pulled pork in and that will make sure that I do not need barbecue sauce. Another trick that you should know is that while you are smoking, you need your heat source opposite direction from your air vents. That will cause a draft of smoke and heat to come across the meat instead of just beside it or behind it, giving you maximum flavor. I'm also going to be listing the seasonings that I use down in the description box. Don't forget to check those links out. These seasonings are from reggaespice.com. With the snake method, you can actually set it and forget it. So what I've done, I've gone to bed, slept for seven hours, and now I am back to check my internal temp to see if it's ready for wrapping. That way my pork butt will be off the smoker by noon and will be ready for dinner by four or five. For my pork butt, I'm gonna wrap it in high temp aluminum foil after I pour some of my reggae spice sweet and sassy jerk marinade all over it. And now it's just gonna cook down in that marinade and in those juices until it's all done. So right now, this is coming up on 10 hours since my pork butt has been smoking. And I'm just gonna use my instant read thermometer and check to see what temperature I'm at, you know, and how the meat feels. And if I need to go longer, I'll just keep it on because the snake still has a couple more hours left. Oh man, all those drippings in there looking really, oh my God. Uh oh. So, as I had predicted, that this will take us around 10 hours. And if you can see the temp right there, it's probing at about 198 all over. All right, this is looking real good. I think we have about another hour left for this to be ready. And then guys, we will rest it. And later on, I will show you how this all came out. Remember guys, everything that I'm using, including my 
Inkbird instant read thermometer here will be linked in the description down below. And you can go ahead and check those products out, see if they're right for you. And um, yeah, go ahead, smash that like button if you like the content, leave me a comment, question if there's something that you see that you don't think I listed in the description, go ahead, ask me about it. I'll send you a link. So 10 hours have passed. Right now we're gonna check on our pork butt here. Ooh, that, that feels that feels so good. The probe is just sliding into the meat. That's saying 198. This one's saying 199, 200 degrees. Over here, this is saying 199, so 200. So we can safely say that this is done, and not just by the temp, but by the feel. There's no resistance to the meat whatsoever you know from the probe so that's when you know your meat is done but guys if you just take a look right here i think we still have about an hour left in these charcoals that we could smoke with if we needed to so that's it we're gonna take this off and then rest it in my cooler for about two hours and then we will go ahead and pull it and show you guys how we made the easiest, most delicious pulled pork using your Weber kettle. Stay tuned. So here we are guys. The pork has been sitting in the cooler for about two hours. The temp has not dropped, it is still piping hot. And just remember this was cooked all on the Weber kettle using the snake method so there you have it guys pull apart tender barbecue pulled pork that I can just pull with my hands no meat claws needed and this was done exclusively on the Weber kettle using B&B charcoal and the snake method go ahead and check those links in the description below they don't cost you anything but they do help to support my channel thank you and see you next time